All right, here we caught a carpenter frog in one of our minnow traps set with chicken liver. And yesterday we found a tadpole, a couple tadpoles in the same pond, and those tadpoles are probably carpenter frogs. And this is the second one that we have seen uh, in the sand hills. We haven't heard them calling, but yeah, they tend to like our traps. Any words? Uh, words? No, no, what, no, no, Jerry, do I don't have do any questions. <laughs> any just, any comments, questions, or concerns? concerns? Any questions, comments, or concerns about <laughs> this carpenter frog? Um, no, not not really. But uh, natural history of the carpenter frog is that uh, you know it's a lithobates like the green frogs, the bronze frogs, stuff like that. Um, but it's real restricting its range is basically the Carolinas coastal plain. It might hit down to Georgia a little bit, and. Uh, most common in the North Carolina, like lower Piedmont, upper coastal plain, and just barely gets into Virginia. Mm -hmm. In the coastal plain, you see these bronze lines extending from behind the eyes in the asparagus green color, <laughs> and then the the mottling on the How belly. How do you cook your asparagus, Nathan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's some burnt asparagus. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, the charred asparagus color. <laughs> And, uh, and the modeling on the belly, those are your telltale signs that you got a carpenter frog. Kind of a specialty of the Carolinas and eastern Virginia here. Mm -hmm. And uh, their call sounds like a, well, carpenter. Yeah. Which is why they're called carpenter like, like frogs. Kind of like a hammer. Hammer and a nail, stacking them bales. There he goes. Here, let's put him back. There you go. Bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There's habitat. <laughs>